Okay, welcome back to the podcast. Today we have a very, very special guest. I say this all the time, but today I truly mean it. We got the <laughs> very talented Miranda O'Hare. How are you doing today? I'm good. So were you lying all the other times that you said the yes, guest was special? Yes, I was lying. This this one's the truth. This one's the truth. <laughs> I mean it wholeheartedly that this is a very, very special guest. Oh, you're so sweet. Hi, dude. How are you? I'm I'm obviously very fantastic right now. Uh, I'm talking to, uh, well, the elephant in the room is you're the Sky voice actor. I am the Sky voice actor. I also am eating a bowl of fried rice. <laughs> <laughs> As you know, I was streaming this morning and then the stream ran over and then the person I was interviewing and I ended up having like a chat afterwards then i had to get on a call and then i had to print something anyway so i ended up being late and then i have to go to an audition after this and i feel very unprepared for the audition but we're gonna get through it but i'm excited to be here and talking to you i uh yeah i'm excited yeah are you are you excited for your audition i'm yeah i'm excited for the audition i don't it's like, you know, one of those like straight to TV kind of movies. So I got to, sometimes I struggle with that because the circumstances are so like crazy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like there's a killer and she's doing this. It's always like some random scenario. So sometimes for me to like get there, it can be hard. So I got to sit down with it for a second, but it's not going to take me that long to memorize because it's only like four pages of dialogue, but it'll be okay. I'm always like, always like you know kind of stressed anytime i have an audition i stress about it because it's like i care you know i mean yeah. you probably feel that way about you know anything anytime you make content like you just care so you you stress about it i feel like the day that i stop stressing is probably the day that i should quit because it probably just means i legitimately don't mm -hmm. care at all you know <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah no i i definitely we'll see we'll see fingers crossed you yeah. know hope for the best yeah. yeah uh yeah i think i think that's a big thing is like actually being super like involved in what you do and you said get there do you do you mean as in like like kind of be in the character is, is that like yeah be in the situation I, yeah like yeah like figure out who the character is, you know, what their motivations are, um, you know, what's going on in that scene, like understanding the context of what's mm -hmm. happening in that moment, just so you're not just delivering lines and like, you know, like you have to think about given circumstances. So like right now in this moment, um, okay, if it was me and someone was auditioning to play me, um, they would be like, okay, she's a voice actor. She's an actress. She's Australian. She lives in LA and she's doing a podcast right now but the given circumstances is that i was really stressed coming here because i didn't want to be late and i was late for the podcast with you <laughs> so i was rushing and i haven't eaten anything so i'm shoving fried rice down my throat and i've got to go to an audition after this and that's my given circumstances so that influences you know and then i but i just was streaming with someone who was really wonderful and i just had a really great stream so that has influenced how I feel in this moment. It's all about where, you know, like everything in your life is influenced by, you know, your childhood, your friends, what's going on in your life at that time, how much money you have, you know, how, how much confidence you have in yourself or your mm -hmm. life at that point. We're all influenced by that kind of thing. So I think uh, when you're an actor, you have to take into consideration things like that. And I'll be honest with you, sometimes you're auditioning for things and, you know, it's like I'm auditioning to be a sorority girl in a horror movie and you kind of find yourself thinking, oh, I'm not going to put in the work for this one because, you know, she's kind of maybe, maybe she's written like as a slightly two-dimensional kind of like girl, you know, mm -hmm. so sometimes you don't want to put as much work into it, but you should always do, do the work because it's just more rewarding at the end of the day if you feel like you have an idea of who this person is, mm -hmm. you know? Is that, was that easier? Cause these characters in Valorant, they have backstories and they have like actual, like kind of meat behind them. Is it easier when it's something like that, especially with voice acting? Cause you could definitely just deliver the lines and just put it out there, but you actually are 
getting into character like you get this backstory on sky and maybe there's some relatability you know being from australia and stuff like that but like is that easier to get into that character and deliver those lines yeah definitely i mean because so the other video game character i had done before um sky was zephyr in XCOM chimera squad and they didn't give me any backstory to her mm -hmm. really like they did give me a little bit i shouldn't say they didn't give me any they did give me a little bit but it wasn't at the at as same amount as it was for valorant and um zephyr's like she appears to she's seven foot tall and she appears to be an alien however i think she was part human i, I can't exactly remember the whole story but she certainly in, in appearance was a big tough woman so i had to change my voice because of that and I had to make my own decisions about who she was. But I think the great thing about Valorant is, to be brutally honest with you, I really didn't have any issues voicing Sky because Sky is kind of like, I don't, they didn't know that when they were writing Sky. But I think the reason I got that part was because Sky is me. I didn't have any, I literally saw the script and knew how to do it knew immediately how to do it there was no like what voice am i going to do for this i knew immediately who she was how she would talk because i am kind of just a girl from the country and i grew up in that environment i'm obsessed with animals um and so i share that connection with her i really love being outside and that's probably one thing that i struggled most about living in la where i live is that I don't have as much access to the outdoors as I did in Australia in the same capacity. Um, so it wasn't a challenge at all. And that's, I feel like people, people message me on TikTok or comment and they're like, what was the hardest voice line to say? And I'm like, it wasn't hard. <laughs> and that's fucked up. Like, I know that sounds like really like kind of arrogant or something. I don't mm -hmm. mean it to be because I've played characters that I have legitimately not known how to play before and gone, oh my God, I'm going to have to pull, you know, a magic trick to deliver this yeah. uh, well. But this was one character that I just didn't, like I just could do it. I'm not obviously Sky exactly, but there is yeah. a lot of crossover. Yeah. I think, because like I told you this before, like when I, when I hear Sky's voice, I... Like, it's not like everyone else where it, there's some sort of a real disconnect from their real voice to their, like, the in-game <laughs> voice. Your voice is, no, like, very, very similar. So I just see your face every time. <laughs> That's what makes me feel like I'm cheating, dude. Like, <laughs> as I, everyone's like, oh, like, you know, I feel like I've gotten, like, a little, more, a few more people know who I am because of Valorant, right? Ah, uh, just, like, in that community. Yeah. And, um... I do feel like I'm like, I just, I don't know, like I got an audition and then I just, I mean, I don't actually talk exactly like yeah. Sky. It might sound like that to someone because, um, you know, who's not Australian, but I yeah. am putting up a voice because she's very Australian. Like she's from Nimbin. So Nim people from Nimbin, it's quite a small town mm -hmm. and they talk like, um, like, if I was to say to you, I'll just, I'd say, oh, just some good old hard yakka standing in between us and victory. But she's like, oh, just some good old hard yakka. Like, she's really, like, pushing, leaning on the yeah. accent. Sorry, I'm about to knock over my microphone. But, so I don't talk exactly like her, but there is definitely, I get why people are like, mm -hmm. you know, people are constantly like, you are Sky, you are Sky. And I'm like... Yeah, okay, I don't, I'm not, but I, I get it. <laughs> it yeah, yeah, I get it. I think that, that was, first of all, that was crazy to hear. I wasn't planning on, like, being like, hey, can you do voice lines, but you just did it. So was, <laughs> I'll do voice lines for you. I'll yeah. do it for anyone. I yeah. don't mind. <laughs> you, want, you want to do one right now? Sure, what do you want me to say? Do you, um, can you think of a line that you like? Well, <laughs> let me tell you, I have... Every single one of Sky's voice lines right here pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all say whatever you want. There, I have a whole list of all 200 and... What is this? 260. I would just... Damn, can you send this to me so yeah, I can I, I, <laughs> Yeah, I got you. Um, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of... Because, like, there's, like... Um, there's, like, three different versions of no... Like, there's just, like, little... So, there is a lot of, like, that. Or, like, good Anya. 
Yeah, they get, they did a lot of different versions. I can't yeah. tell you how many times I said those lines. Okay, so I can't even tell you. <laughs> I would like. Um. Can I get? Uh, I'm having. Oh, do can you do a come on raise you cheeky bugger? Let's get into it. Oh sure. Put my glass of water. How big is my glass of water? It's a big glass of water. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, raise you cheeky little bugger. Let's get into it. Come on, raise you cheeky little bugger. Let's get into it. That's crazy. It's <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> I, I I don't I don't even have words for it. Okay, and then <laughs> we, that needs I, to be your intro, dude. Yeah, I know it's gonna be, and there's gonna be clips of it everywhere on TikTok and everything. <laughs> Great, I'll do edit. I uh, love it. Okay, can I? I also can I get the uh, the alt line? Seek them out. Oh yeah, do you know what's so funny? I feel like I struggle saying this line, but I'll I'll do it. Uh, Seek them out. Seek them out. Oh man. <laughs> this is like my mind is. I like I, that it's like a connection for you. Yeah, I love, love it. I absolutely love it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, <was> so funny. <laughs> That's awesome. That literally made my whole year. Like I get there's <laughs> there will there will not be anything in this year that is better than that. God bless you. Uh, do you main her? Who do you main? Yeah, well, I I was for a while um just or like I'll play Sky like quite a bit, but um mm -hmm. not all the time do I get it like or like does it like fit in, you know, the lineup of characters? So, right. mm -hmm. so that's like a big thing. Like I usually just, cause like some of my friends are better than me. So like they'll pick what they want and then I'll just kind of like fill with what character fits alongside their characters in a way. Well, one of my friends was, who was just on stream, some of his friends are pro players. And, uh, he was saying to me that, um, you know, she's more likely to get picked by pro players cause she's just harder. So I think people at a, a certain skill level are probably picking her mm -hmm. like, because I think she might be quite difficult. I mean, I say that. That's all I say. I've never played, so I've got absolutely no idea. <laughs> I, I, but... I personally, like, love her abilities. I think it's really... Do you, do you like, know the abilities? Like, do you... Yeah, I mean, like, she can... She blinds people, right? Yeah, like, that's, the, that. that's the big thing. I, I yeah. used to get so mad at her, like, just because she would have three birds, and just around the corner, just three birds come <laughs> right away and just get blinded. <laughs> Dude, I'll send you this gameplay that I do edit, and it was like, this person was just like, blind, blind, <laughs> like, just like, like, playing her, and just yeah. like, fucking with people, <laughs> and like, I was, I was watching it, someone sent it to me, and then I sent it to my friend, and, and I was like, what, what is going on, like, I feel like, because this was before I understood the blinds mm -hmm. and stuff like that, and they were like, oh yeah, that person's being, like, pretty savage, and I was, <laughs> I watched it then with new eyes, and I was like, my god yeah um but yeah she's she blinds people she's got the birds i know about the birds yeah. and she has a tasmanian tiger that she does stuff with as well right or I he's just i bird. don't i don't know what a tasmanian tiger is he might look like a uh, like a dog to yeah, you or that's like what wolf. it is a tasmanian, it's a tasmanian tiger oh my dude everyone says i'm dogging like that's that's like I'm gonna send my dog through. Wow, <laughs> I think I'm. Yeah, no, I didn't know either. But it's it's if you look up the lore of of Sky, they they say like Riot says it's a Tasmanian tiger, which I have never seen. I wonder if they're extinct in Australia before. I've heard of them, but yeah. I think that might see, that might be some breaking news right here. That's a Tasmanian <laughs> tiger. You know what's crazy is one of my friends runs... Oh, I, I spoke to you about one yeah. of my friends um, who runs a, a Valorant YouTube channel, Valorant Hub, and he just... Uh, the, he he spoke to the voice of... Um, is it K.O., the robot? Oh, really? Mm, I, or he's getting on a call with him or something. And okay. um, So that's sick. I'm like, I'm going to reach out to him and, 
and try to connect with him and stuff because I haven't heard his voice work for the robot, but that's mm -hmm. epic. To me. It would be so challenging to like get something like a robot and be like, okay, how the fuck is this character going to talk? You know, like mm -hmm. I've auditioned for like aeroplanes before, like the voice of an aeroplane or the voice of a refrigerator, like for kids shows and stuff. And wow. you're just like, how is this fridge going to talk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I there's so the Valorant voice acting cast because when you said like how do you play a robot, I was and do you you know the Omen character? Yeah, yeah, he's, my he's yeah. so cool. But I was just thinking that lineup of voice actors. There's some very very accomplished voice actors for mm -hmm. I mean not only like actors but just voice actors like people who solely do voice actors. They've got some really crazy talent on there. Yeah, they got Steve Bloom. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. <laughs> I know. I couldn't I couldn't believe it. I mean, just to be in something he's in is like epic. You know, it's so crazy and I don't, I don't I say this a lot, but like, you know, I don't even I'm so at the I've been acting since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Um and and uh, I've done so many different things in terms of the content that I've been a part of. I was part of podcasts. Like I've, I've done a lot of different things, but for me, it, I was just always an actor. I was just always an actor. Mm -hmm. um, that was my career for a long time. I very much fell into voice acting and like, and I'm talking like I went in for a meeting with an agency about signing in their commercial division. They asked me to audition for the voiceover department I did. I got signed. I didn't have a voiceover reel. I had like very little experience. I had done some stuff in Australia. So I was familiar with being in a booth, um, but didn't have a lot of experience. And then I, I started working. I'm so at the beginning of my career. Like I feel very much like I don't feel, I feel a bit of imposter syndrome yeah. with this whole experience mm -hmm. for sure. Like it's just like something that, you know, like I think like, you're very young and you're at the start of your podcasting career. It'd be like if you suddenly were in the top five podcasts in the world mm. and, you know, it's you, Cola, Daddy, and fucking Joe Rogan, and you're just like, <laughs> oh, shit, uh, okay. Like, I didn't even necessarily – like, I was just kind of giving this a shot. And, of course, I'm so grateful for it, but I definitely feel like, you know, I look at the people around me and I'm like, yeah, you're a lot more experienced. I'm an experienced actor. But I'm definitely not an experienced voice actor. And mm -hmm. uh, it's something that, I, th I mean, not to sound like an idiot, but, like, I think I'm naturally good at it. I think there's a level of it just being a natural ability I have. I also think that voice acting is really just acting. And it's about heart. Like, it's about your ability mm -hmm. to, to tell a story and really believe in a story and care about it. Um, so I think that's just kind of the progression. Like it makes, I think, I think a good voice actor is just a good actor. I'm sure Steve Bloom is an incredible actor. Mm -hmm. So it's really just, a, it's really just that, but yeah, there's definitely a level of me being like, oh my God, like, you know, even, even people like Carolina Ravasa, who's the voice of Ray is like, you know, she's just like the voice of all these characters for Cartoon Network. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, I hope that's what's next for me in terms yeah. of where I go next. But she also yeah. did um, Overwatch too. She yeah, I think she did Overwatch first. Yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah. I mean, which is like, I think, like you said, you're at the beginning of things in your mm -hmm. eyes for voice acting. So it's, I was gonna ask what what's next. Do you want to do more voice acting? Is that do you is like video games in your future or just whatever comes up? Or do you have an idea of what you want? What I really want to do, actually, I obviously want to continue acting. Um, you know, that's always going to be the focus. Um, I definitely think voice acting now has become as important to me as acting, whereas before it was always acting and then voice acting. But I think mm -hmm. the two are very much on the same level now. I really want to do animation. And I've had conversations with my manager about how important that is for me. So this year, we uh, developed a series of like voices and I had to work on like really being able to do like little kid voices and stuff because a lot of the animation work is obviously children's shows. Mm -hmm. um, so developing voices like that and um, 
being able to do like little boy voices because they'll get women to do the voices of little boys because it's harder for a man to do a little boy's voice. Yeah. They're broken, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, just stuff like that, like which is incredibly weird thing to be sitting in your room <laughs> trying to figure out how to talk like a baby. Um, but yeah, just being able to do lots of different voices and accents. I mean, I could already do the accents. I've always been good at that. Um, but that's definitely what I want to do. And of course, yeah, like, dude, I want to be in another fucking video game for sure. Like, I'm like, I want to be, I don't know which one, like any of them, but video games are fun. They're yeah. very fun. Yeah. yeah i mean the goal is just to have fun i think at the end of the mm -hmm. day like that's all you really want to do you know yeah that's cool i didn't realize that you had to work on like it makes sense but i didn't know that you just sat there and like worked on voices like how to get somewhere and be able to show that you can do it i mean it totally makes sense but i just never put that together that's interesting yeah it, well no of course of course i mean i i guess voice acting something that you always think about but um i i so so when i first auditioned for my voiceover agency about i think it was like 2019 and they gave me a series of scripts and one of the voice to, to audition for when mm -hmm. they had asked me one of the scripts they gave me was this character called charlie and my friend is is a very successful composer and i was recording it with him and he was helping me and i made the character's voice just naturally I felt like the voice, she was a, an Australian dingo and she was like part of a kid show. It was just an audition for the agency. But I felt like I made that voice like without really meaning to, probably like 10, 10 years old. And then recently I went back into the studio with him to record some more voices and I did Charlie again. And we always talk about the voice of Charlie because he was like, that was the first time I realized you could do animation voices. And I made Charlie like four. Like I was like, I can't, I don't know if I could even do the voice for you now, but. I made her like very, very young, like, yeah, okay. Like kind of like that kind of voice. And he was like, oh my God, like Charlie's dropped like six years in her, in her age. And I was like, yeah, she has. And it's just so crazy to think that like your voice, which is like pretty consistent, like you're not changing your voice as you mm -hmm. throughout your life very often can be changed. And like, I th I'm sure everyone could voice act. I don't think it's like. I'm sure some people are naturally better at it than others, but I do think we can all change our voice. Yeah, I think about when I was doing the deep dive into the Valorant voice actors, I think I said I want to do voice acting like probably three or four times. Like w while watching everyone do like I watched a lot of uh, Caroline or yeah, her Carolina, her, Carolina. Yeah, I watched a lot of her mm -hmm. this thing that you did with her, like where she has all the characters on. I watched a lot of those and at probably three or four times, I probably said that I wanted to do it. So <laughs> it's just yeah. super interesting. It's very interesting. It's a very interesting world. And, and, you know, yeah, the more I know about it, I, it's, it's one of those things where as time goes on, you just learn more and more. Mm -hmm. And, and it's such a technical skill, dude. I, when I first got signed to my agency, it was about a year before I booked anything. And at one point I rang them and told them, um, like, should I just quit? And I was mm -hmm. like, should I quit? Like, do you guys want to just fire me now? Like what's happening? You know? And they were like, oh, it's no, it's pretty common for people to be signed for a long time and to not, um, to not book anything. It's such a technical medium. You know, it, it's not, it's not an easy, it's just as difficult to voice act, honestly, maybe harder than acting because it's so competitive. Yeah, you know? for sure. I mean, when mm -hmm. you have people like the uh, Steve Bloom, who's literally in everything. I mean, every video game. I was looking at his like IMDb or Wikipedia or whatever, and he's in like every video game that I've ever played, he's in. Yeah. And yeah. so I'm like, I and there's only probably like 10 or a, there might be a little bit more maybe 15 agents in valorant so like i think there's 15 yeah, yeah. so this like there's like probably 20 jobs for voice acting right there like because there's like an announcer and everything else but mm -hmm. other than mm -hmm. that like it's not that much voice acting or there's not that many characters you know as in acting you probably have 
a ton of people you can, i mean extras and everything so mm -hmm. i can imagine mm -hmm. that it's probably difficult to book stuff like that it is difficult and i think a lot of people think that they can do it and mm -hmm. and they can absolutely but i think that, that that adds to it and um some people are not as like i was just looking at at the resume of the of the voice actor for ko or for his name's gabe mm -hmm. and like he's just voiced a ton of stuff like oh, he's really? based yeah if you look at his imdb he's done so much stuff it's just so interesting um and the opportunities are hard to come by. Like you've got to be signed with a pretty good agency, and um, but it's definitely not something I would discourage anyone from doing. Yeah, for sure. Because it's not as like I don't know. If my child came to me and said that they wanted to act, I'd be like, please don't, don't do that. <laughs> please, please don't. But if they said I want to be a voice actor, I'd be like, okay, yeah. There's, there's. I think it's. I think you get treated better. There's more respect. Yeah. It's not always act, actresses, especially, don't always get as much respect. I mean, act. I with not to be controversial or anything, but like stuff that's happened in the past with actresses, it's like it's scary. I wouldn't let. I mean, obviously, I would let, but like my daughter cool. going into that field would be a little scary because. There's some, yeah. there's some bad people and I mean, in every industry, but ex especially that one. Yeah, I no, I totally agree with you. And it's hard. It's very, very hard. It yeah. is very hard. I think, I think I was thinking about this last night, actually. The hardest thing about being an actor for me at, at, at this very, very moment is the lack of structure in my life. I think like when you're on set, you have structure. Yeah. You, you're you're working on set from you know seven a.m. to seven p.m. every day, pretty much all you do. Then you come home, you learn lines, you work out, you do the same thing the next day, right? But when you're not on set like me right now, and you're auditioning for things, and you know obviously I'm do, I do a lot of like I stream, I do cameos, I just got started a Patreon. Like I'm a busy person. Like today I'm incredibly busy, but like. <laughs> like yesterday I was like what am I doing with my life <laughs> like <laughs> you know and then I like got an audition and suddenly I was like fuck I have 45 things to do tomorrow yeah but you just constantly are struggling with like a lack of structure and a lack of routine and those are things that really I think human beings really need so it can it can be hard no I I definitely feel that like there's not anything I technically have to do in a day. So then I get, I like today I was just sitting here. I'm waiting for, I woke up way earlier than I ever do. So I had so much time to do stuff. So I like hopped on, played a couple of games of Valorant. And then I was just like, all right, I guess I'll just sit here and wait until, uh, until the podcast, but it's like the worst. It's, it's yeah. Like the thing is, because I think, I have taken on so many things. If anything, I, there's never a moment where I'm like, I truly have nothing to do. I always have stuff yeah. to do. And I'm a writer, so it's like, I've always got to be working on something. I will say that I recently decided to get an accountability coach, like a creative accountability coach, because I've done those classes before and done accountability classes and they fucking help as a creator. They help you keep making and goal setting. Um, I actually ran a class with my friends where I did that. I was acting as their accountability coach. Like, I don't know who I think I am. I like think I'm like, okay. um, but that is something to me that I think as you grow and as you get older, like I, I you know, I've left school and, and moved to Sydney to do this, you know, when I was like 17, 18. So I have had a journey of learning how to get this right and how to, mm -hmm be a creative without a schedule, without, you know, a nine to five job and how to be productive and, and what free time can do to a person. I mean, we all for a pandemic, mm -hmm. quarantine, you know, every city and country in the world, like we know about free time and destructive can be. Mm -hmm. it can be fucking, it can be terrible, you know? Yeah. Um so going back to to Valorant a little bit, 
uh, how do you, if you can talk about this, uh, when, like, how often do you have to do voice work for them? Like, do you, are you doing stuff now or like? No, I'm not doing anything right now. Also, I just realized like I have all this shit in the background. <laughs> And it looks fucking terrible, and I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, you're fine. Thank you for anyone watching this. Um, uh, no, I'm not doing anything now. I don't know when I'm going to get called back in again. Um, you know, I have recorded a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff was batched, and I didn't know when things were coming out. Yeah. I still don't know. Um, so, you know we'll see what happens next with when i go back in so do you think do you still have stuff you think that hasn't came out yet like lines or anything the thing about that is that i i honestly can't tell you yeah because i can't remember what i recorded <laughs> yeah and i i mean i you know it was i was there for days and i was recording mm -hmm. a lot of dialogue so for example when astra came out i think or maybe it was Euro. It, well, I definitely have lines with Euro. And I was like, oh, yeah, I remember saying that. Mm -hmm. Like, I completely, completely forgot. I have a friend, um, Simprel, who does a lot of uh, Valorant lore, um, who's explained things to me. Oh, like you said, this this person. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I, I don't honestly know. Which sounds, it's it's hard to explain, but when I booked Valorant, I didn't know what Valorant was. Yeah. So I went in and recorded, and, and I didn't realize that this was a big deal. So it's really taken, it's like that experience was like, I didn't fully take in all the stuff they were telling me about when things were going to get released and mm. what everything. How long into into like after you recorded did you start to kind of realize that it was a big deal i got a sense when i was there okay because they told me yeah like um they said like oh it's a really popular video game and people are going to be interested to know who you are and i if i'm brutally honest didn't think that that was true i thought it was a big video game but i didn't think that anyone would care about who i was yeah because i was voicing this character so i was like mm. and i went home and i was living with my best friend at the time and i remember the last day of recording dialogue and i came home and and i said to her you know this is what they said they said people would be interested and i was like so yeah we'll see. and she was like yeah i guess so like she's like be so and then i started to i remember the day that the trailer was released i put it on twitter and valorant liked it or riot liked it and then i just got like five thousand likes on that tweet and i was like what and then also and this is a weird thing but i do remember this being a moment was my best friend's boyfriend said to margot oh wait valorant and she was like, yeah, is that, a, is that a game people know? And he was like, oh, shit, dude, that's like a really big game. And then she said to me, oh, I think it's a really big game. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I sound like an idiot. But it was like a gradual thing. And then I started to see, like, people writing articles about me. Um, you know, I sound very narcissistic, but I put a Google <laughs> alert out because I was trying to keep up with people yeah. writing stuff about me and people started writing, um, you know, honestly, like shit talking me, like saying that I was faking my voice and stuff and that I wasn't really Australian and that I sounded really Australian. I don't know. They had issues with my accent. Um, and so I was like, what is going on? It was just a crazy, it was a crazy mm -hmm. thing. Um, so yeah, I guess, I guess it was a gradual realization. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm the voice of video game character. I'm not curing cancer. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's not like that. It's a big deal, but it's not. Yeah. I don't think it's a bigger deal than it actually is. I, I don't know <laughs> if you, like, you probably heard some stuff about, like, the beta thing that they did. They, like, released, like, you had to watch streams for a certain amount of time. And then they would randomly send you a key and then you could log on to the game early. Oh, okay. And this was like a big thing, like 
this was so it's like beta testing so like it's like a they'll play and then if there's any things that they need to change before the game's officially released then they'll change it in that period so it's kind of like a trailer that you play and everyone you know plays it or whatever and i sat at my computer for hours like waiting for this key like because not everyone was getting it right away i sat there for hours and hours and hours just with the stream up waiting for my key to come and did you get it yeah i finally got one but like it was i wasn't one of the first people so like i had to sit there for hours like it was not only hours i'm pretty sure it was days and i have a video on my phone um i might have to send it to you because i was like <laughs> I was like, I just got out of the shower or something. And I was like, I have a Twitch notification. I hope that this is it. And I opened it and it was like, you've been invited to play Valorant. And I was like, freaked out. Wait, so this was you playing Valorant for the first time? Yeah, this was like at the beginning oh. of the game, they did like a beta. Oh, and shit. Yeah. So like I played, I played it since like the day it came out or the day I was allowed mm -hmm. to play it. So it's just wow. like, like the fact that this is happening is like crazy enough for me. <laughs> and I was like, you're the, you're the only person. Well, I did message. I messaged, uh, the voice. No, I messaged the voice actor for Cypher. Carolina, she's a little too famous for me. I didn't think she was gonna, <laughs> she had, she had like the check mark and I was like very intimidated. I was like, there's no, no way. I'm scared to ask Carolina <laughs> to come on my stream and she's my friend. <laughs> Don't worry. I know people reach out to me because they know. I think. I mean, I hope people think I'm nice. I think it's yeah. like maybe that that I seem nice, but I think I know it's also because I'm like the least famous. I'm like I know what's going on. Well, no. But <laughs> let me preference by I said to because I've been I was talking to my friends. I was like I'm gonna get my favorite character on first, and I did. And so you're my favorite <laughs> character. You have my you're you have the best voice, the best voice lines, and I'll say it. I might not say it to the other people, but if they if that ever comes to fruition, but I'm saying yeah, it here. Yeah, I mean, I think that. Well, I told you, like, I'm pretty. Um, I I pretty much will say, like, I went. I remember I went on like college radio station, and the, they were like flipping out and. <laughs> I and I and she was the girl interviewing me was like oh I'm so nervous and I was like you really don't have any reason to be nervous firstly I am you know starting up on street on streaming on twitch and mm. I have a sense of what it's like I've had some success just because I've always guy um but I have a sense of what it's like to be a small creator and I also think like certain people I will like I won't say yes to everyone but if I look someone and i can tell that they have like they are professional they're knowledgeable they're intelligent like i'll say yes to, to being a part of that person's content because like why not like i'm not trying to you know i will take that as a compliment it is it's a it's a compliment i think i've doing this i've honestly had so many great experiences and very very few but you know what's funny i had a someone reach out to me and um God, I hope they don't hear this. I had someone reach out to me and ask me to be on their podcast. And I said, yeah, that's, that's totally fine. Can you send me a list of the questions? Which is literally what I said to you, yes. right? Yes. And send me your, uh, your work and an example of the podcast you've done in the past. Getting this person to send me information about what they were doing was like pulling teeth. And I had this back and forth. Oh, I completely forgot. Oh, it's a week later. Oh, it's this. It's that. Excuse, excuse, excuse. And so I said, no, I'm not going on your stream. And I was so angry at this person, <laughs> like, like crazily angry. And this is and because I felt like I'm like, listen, I'm so nice. I'll, I'll step out. I will help people. But you have to not you, but the proverbial you. And I'll say this to anyone that's to make content. You have to, you have to be professional, mm -hmm. even if you're not run, even if you don't make any money from whatever it is you're doing. Like if I have someone coming on my stream on Twitch, I always organize a discord uh, call with them to make sure we vibe, make sure we, we can like get along interesting. They're chill. You know, they're not going to say anything crazy. Mm -hmm. And I explain what it is. I send questions in advance if they want me to like, 
I always, you know, send me a photo, I'll promote it. Like, I just think it's crazy. Some people are like trying to do the least. I'm like, you have to, if you really want to make it, you know, creating content in any capacity and who the fuck am I to really comment, but like, you got to act like it's a business. You know what yeah. I mean? I was totally prepared. I didn't know that you were in, like when I first messaged you, I didn't know that you lived in LA. I was totally I prefer prepared for any sort of crazy Australia time that I had to be prepared to like record this podcast. Like I was like 5 a.m., 4 a.m., <laughs> anytime. Like you need it, yeah. I'll be there. Whatever's comfortable for you, <laughs> I'll do it. I had this no girl idea. in Australia is coming on my stream and uh, I can't even think of this lovely girl's name, but I do a series on my Twitch called the Girl Gamer series where mm -hmm. I interview girl gamers and this girl's coming on my twitch and she lives in melbourne and she's coming on so because i stream every wednesday at 1 p.m and i really don't want to change the stream time because mm -hmm. we kind of know what time i stream and she's coming on at like it's going to be like five o'clock in the morning for and i was like girl you can say no or we can make an exception and stream later for you that day she's like I'll be up i will be doing it i was like okay <laughs> <laughs> the commitment that's what you need yeah i mean i i just i think it's super important like whatever time you especially if i'm asking you like i'm not gonna be like hey you want to come on my podcast but it's gonna be on my time like whatever yeah. t whatever time you need i've always done it that way i've done podcasts at 2 a.m uh 4 a.m just any time because i deal with a lot of male gamers <laughs> who just have the worst sleep schedule so i'm like whatever you guys need the way I, you said male yeah male, like like visceral yeah i mean it's whatever <laughs> everyone get the point oh uh, uh, yeah no totally totally i mean i it, like your i like your tiktoks by the way you're i making, appreciate that yeah keep keep making them i can see you're growing yeah i mean i try i try to make stuff every day yeah no it's good yeah my mom watches my tiktok so shout out to my mom <laughs> she'll love this I'll, I'll make this a tiktok too so shout out to my oh mom oh my god what's your mom's name my mom's name is michelle shout out michelle <laughs> you raised a good boy oh she's gonna love that <laughs> she's gonna love that um i don't I actually have questions about some of the the voice lines. Sure. Uh, what is a what? So Sky says just some good old hard yakka. I knew you were gonna ask that because I get what, asked that so much. I don't know what is that. Can you break down hard that line? Hard yakka. Yeah. Hard yakka is hard work. Okay. Mhm. Mm makes some so sense. So he's saying there's hard work that's standing in between us and success okay yeah so you say there's i think there's a brand back home called hard yakka so yeah it's just a bit of hard yakka bit of hard work bit of hard yakka never killed anyone that's what <laughs> you might say in australia <laughs> um may i ask for some voice lines and then yeah. uh, i don't know do you do you have a do you have to get out of here at all I can talk for like another 15, 20. I don't want to, I don't want to rush it too much, but yes, I'm, I can definitely stick around for another 15. If you, if you All right. Want. We're going to get some interesting voice lines in here and, uh, okay. maybe, maybe it. talk about a thing or two, but okay. I'm no doctor, but I can patch a bullet hole or two. Let me know if you need some healing. Do you want me to say that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I feel like a man. Cause I keep getting in. Position, like I'm like <laughs> <laughs> I'm no doctor but I can patch a bullet hole or two let me know if you need healing so good it's literally, <laughs> it's literally what I hear in my ear all the time is it sounds like am I saying it how she said it yeah yeah okay I mean yeah. you're sky sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the inflections change and I like can't fully remember the inflections but okay good good I, there was a moment uh for everyone listening there was a moment we had a we had a call maybe like a a little under a week ago where you said uh can you do the voice and like i thought you were asking me to like say voice lines to you and i'm like 
that literally stuck with me for like three days where I was just sitting there like, I could, there's no way I could have said like a voice line to her. Like I was so nervous. Like that was the only <laughs> part in the whole time that I got nervous. I was like, there's yes, no way. I asked you to do her voice. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, this guy just asked me to do the sky voice. I called my mom. She's like, how did it go? And I was like, mom, I, I, I don't know. Like she asked me to do the voice. Like I, I can't. <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't care. You could butcher it. I would have. <laughs> I would have. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I was that. I didn't get nervous at all. I I didn't get nervous before this, but that was a time where I was just like, oh, like yeah, no, totally. Oh my god. <laughs> if if someone, if like one of the voice actors, Carolina, wanted me to do, dude, when I was on her stream. Carolina wanted me to say her voice lines mm -hmm, and the she does only that, yeah. reason that I didn't want to <laughs> because I'm not Hispanic or Brazilian and I didn't feel comfortable doing that yeah. as like a white person yeah I and, get 100% yeah and I was like and I was like Carolina are you sure this is okay and she's like yeah I don't care and I think oh she was speaking Portuguese maybe maybe it's not spanish maybe it's portuguese but one of my girlfriends is portuguese and she was like that wasn't racist don't worry about it that main concern because i think if you watch that stream back you can kind of see me like going like <laughs> i don't want to do that but then i made a tiktok where i did it and i just told her i was gonna do it and she was like you care like totally do it but yeah it's uh because i you know how she goes uh uh, Mia Familia. I uh, love that one. What is it? Uh, um, uh, okay, Mia Familia. Oh, okay, Mia Familia. Leave the fireworks to me. <laughs> <laughs> I made a TikTok doing that. And no one said anything, so I was like, I guess I'm not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's one of her voice lines. Uh... There's there's one that every time she says it, there's like, oh, I, I literally can't think of it. I'm drawing a blank. But there's one where she says, like, I'm drawing a blank. But me, <laughs> me and my friends, we love it because she's like, and we won't lose. Like, something, she says something and then that. And then we're like, yeah, we can't lose now. Like, we're winning. We're winning every time she says it. It's like, it pumps us up. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, no, she's very talented. I saw some of the voices she did. You should check out her TikTok. I saw some of the voices she was doing for like Cartoon Network. That was honestly when I realized how good she was. I was like, shit, these voices are fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. She does like the voice of this like mechanic, I think, that like smokes a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> and it was like so good. I'm like, I didn't know she was capable of that. I feel like it's like, Someone to me being a good actor, I think because I have acted so long, it like doesn't hit me as hard as someone mm -hmm. being able to voice it. Damn, that's a skill, you know? Mm -hmm. she, she's got a, like her, the Ray's voice is really like, it's really pumped up. Like it takes a lot of, I assume that it takes a lot of work. Cause she's like, there's like her alt line is borderline screaming. And then like, yeah, the yeah. Other, she's, she's got work in there right yeah no she she does she definitely plays the character big um it's it's interesting right like how different they all sound and how i feel like a lot of the characters because actually carolina is i think quite a big personality as well mm -hmm. and it's interesting how there's a crossover between the voices and also the voice actors there is people say that a lot on on social media to me that the voice actors are similar to their characters i mean i'm sure the gentleman voices cypher is not like cypher <laughs> or like omen <laughs> um but they're they're crazy i'm excited to hear how this um how this robot sounds have you yeah. heard any of Pedro's voice lines yeah i have he um i so i i played i played him last night oh you did yeah uh Sick. 
and i i was actually very curious to see how he sounds you can definitely it's like robotic but you can definitely tell tell that there's a a male voice behind there um mm -hmm. so i i think i like most of his yeah i like most of his lines that i've heard so far i mean i i'm yeah. really invested into like that now is like i love the voice lines and by the way i remembered the raised voice line that i was trying to remember it's uh where he's, I'm surrounded by Mia Familia. We won't lose. That's the one. Oh, okay. it was bothering me. It was bothering me, but I got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> you got there, babe. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. We'll do. I'll, I'll only ask you for two more voice lines. Yeah. Actually, can sure. can I make a special request? Are you allowed to do uh? Like maybe a tad bit of a custom voice line. Yeah, as long as I don't swear. Can I have you say my name, Texture? Can you say that in yeah. Sky voice? What, in what setting? Um. What do you want me to say? You'll. What's the. What's. What. Uh, you want me to promo you know, the podcast? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> what's the. What's the podcast called? It's talking with Texture. <laughs> That's right, because remember, yeah. I was like, what are you changing the name yeah. to? Yeah. Uh, hi, you're listening to Talking with Texture? <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 hi, you're listening to Talking with Texture? Um, and if you call me a flower girl, I'll break your nose. Yeah, yeah, that's, oh my, that might be my ringtone. <laughs> Dude, the, the fact that you like this so much is really I love it, I laugh. could stay here for hours. <laughs> oh my Should goodness. Answer, please? I have, so I'm, this is a, the flash, the flash tattoo, Ooh. and then I have, I have the flower. You have a flower. <laughs> I have a flower, and then I have some Roman numerals. Um, oh, okay. So that's, cool. that's, that's what my arm looks like right now. But I do want to extend on here. But You want to have, like, a, a whole arm thing going on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. They, these are that's just, like, up. they might not look meaningful, but I promise that they, they, ver they very much are. It tells a story of my life oh, yeah. but i i didn't want to do like um like i don't know it's kind of something that only i or if like if i explained it to you like mm -hmm. then you understand kind of thing i uh, yeah i have i mean i have tattoos that don't mean anything oh i, I definitely have... have tattoos that don't mean anything too <laughs> <laughs> no, I literally text one of my girlfriends like on the weekend and I was like, you want to get a tattoo next week? And she was like, sure. And I was like, I think I'm going to get the number 13. Where she was like, okay, me too. Like we're just getting the th a 13. So I'm definitely like, I get a meaningful, I have meaningful tattoos. I only have three, but I have like, I would say, I would say one of them is meaningful. <laughs> <laughs> and two are not. <laughs> we, me, me and my brother one night, it was actually funny that we, in the back of my phone, is uh, we drawled out of a hat. So this is a tattoo I'm eventually going to get, and it's just chilling in the back of my phone. It's a light bulb. Oh, really? Yeah. So we we all have, or like a couple of my roommates, and like we just all picked one out of a hat. So I just haven't got it yet, but I'm going to get it tattooed on me. Okay, I love that. Is your brother older or younger than? He's uh he's older. I have three older brothers. Um and so oh, like wow. I live here with one of them and then I live with his fiance and then I have two other roommates and then we live in like this area of houses and then like right across the way is my other two brothers. Shut up. Yeah, and then my sister lives like 5 minutes away with her husband and kids. So like oh, we're my, how all far right away here. your parents? um two and a half hours oh okay yeah okay but your parents must love that there's that their kids are all living together yeah i mean it's easy it's super easy like you don't have to choose which one you're gonna see you see all of them <laughs> wow 
well. Oh my god, I'm so jealous. You don't ever take for granted living near family. Trust yeah, me. It's, I don't live honestly... anywhere near mine. Yeah. It is a joy to be able to go and just go to your you know, your sister's house for dinner. Mm -hmm. Always have people around you that can look after you. Yeah, yeah I mean really cool. Just be, like it's it's just nice, like the camaraderie. It's just like because like once I, I'm the youngest out of my parents and then like um my dad and his wife has have a like i have a little sister but uh, oh that's so cute but how well, old is she she's uh four what's her name ella ella great name yeah so like it's just it's nice to like since everyone moved out but then now it's kind of like that you know growing up vibe like where we have that camaraderie with you know, just walk over to my brother's house or they walk over here and it's everyone together again, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, that's all. Awesome. Oh my God, I love this view. Yeah, it's it's pretty great. Okay, good. That makes me feel better knowing that you've got your, your family there. <laughs> were, you, were you worried? <laughs> well, just, you know, like I know we've talked about your health stuff and I just like, it's just hard. I mean, I know what it's like to live in another country or live... It's just tough like leaving home is tough you know yeah for sure i know what those struggles are like and i always want everyone to have people if you've got people supporting you you can get through anything mm -hmm. nothing is an issue if you have good people around you yeah i mean it's great because they all they all understand the social media i mean most of them like they all have pcs and setups and stuff they're probably in a discord call right now with each other like i could join it after this it's like it's the coolest thing ever that they are, you know, I mean, your brothers, you mean yeah. they're into gaming? Yeah. So like, do they, do they know that you're doing this? Yeah. I told, I called one of them, like the one that lives across the way. I was like, I'm doing this. He was like, what? That's so crazy. And then I, I know, I know I'm going <laughs> to Oh my God! shout out to them. Yeah. They're great. I mean, it's, it's cool that they understand. They don't really play Valorant, but they, like they played the beta with me, so they like know what it is and Sure. Yeah. They know that the the bird girl on Valorant. The bird girl. Yeah. That's, <laughs> I'm like the one the one with the birds, the ones that fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Okay, one one last one. Um sure. can we just get the iconic is it Hawk out? Sure, yeah. Hawk out! Hawk out! Hawk destroyed! Hawk destroyed! Blinded. Blinded! Yeah, that's the one I hear all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Blinded. This this was great. This was a this was a treat. I appreciate it so very much. <laughs> you are you are such a sweet person and so very nice. And I, uh, I can't thank so you enough. Welcome, yeah, yeah. And I spoke to Zaki from Valorant Hub yesterday. I do really want y'all to connect and Oh, that'd be great. Him, yeah, yeah. Remind me of that and set if you post anything or clips or whatever, tag me. I'll duet them. Put du oh. duets and stitches on and Wow. We'll make we'll make it a whole thing, baby. I appreciate it. This was great. Yeah. Wow. This is Uh yeah. I I don't have no words here. <laughs> 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 I have no words. So cute. Uh, um, yeah, you're a good man, Texture, and hopefully I can get you on my stream soon. And um, yeah, I'm actually doing a thing where I'm getting. Uh, I'm gonna start next week. I'm gonna have Zaki, my friend from Valorant Hub, come on my stream and play. He's gonna main Sky mm -hmm. and explain the gameplay to me. Okay. So maybe you could come on and play Valorant and like explain <laughs> yeah. things to me. I would love. I would absolutely love to. Anytime. I need some. I need someone who's going to be patient to explain things to me because I feel like that's part of the issue. Because who was it that I was talking to? Oh, I think I was talking to Zaki yesterday, and he was like, he was like, yeah, you just have to make sure that the person you're asking to do this is like patient because he was like, it's so hard to play Valorant. It's going to be hard to play and also talk have <laughs> have that person talk as yeah. well you know so anyway um but yeah that's one thing i'm planning on doing on my channel i think people would probably like it to see mm -hmm. it you know yeah. even though it's not playing i think people would like it 
Um, but yeah, so great to talk to you. I better go do this audition and learn these lines and keep me up and we'll connect soon. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching the podcast. This has been Texture and Miranda O'Hare and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Bye legends.